Hey everyone and welcome back to another Nielsen Networking video. In this video I'm going to follow up on a video I created a little bit ago uh, where we went over the Win Verify Trust Signature Validation vulnerability and we went over how to create a registry key that would remediate the vulnerability. So taking that what I want to do now is follow that up for those of you that are on Microsoft Intune. Uh, I want to follow that up and deploy that fix using Microsoft Intune and Win32 apps. That said, those of you that aren't on Microsoft Intune may want to stick around because a lot of what we're going to go over, you may be able to then um, translate this into whatever you are using, um, at least the process. Uh, maybe not the exact code we're using, but you know what? You, you, you should get something out of it. Um, so, okay, to get started, the first thing we're going to need is the registry file we created in the first video. And if you don't have that yet, check up top. There's a link there. Hop over to that video, watch the video, and um, figure out how to do it. Get it over here or over here. Get it wherever you need it and continue watching the video. So now that we have the registry key, the uh, second thing we're going to need to do is going to be to create a batch file. And you could do this with PowerShell. You could do this with whatever you want. I'm sticking to something simple and easy that I know works because I've actually deployed this to a couple hundred workstations and had the results I wanted. So we're going to need this batch file. And what we're going to do is I've already created it, but we'll go through it together and I'll explain what each line does. So the first line here is going to make the directory fix inside C Windows temp, which is already there. Uh, second line of code, it's going to copy Wintrust Reg or whatever yours is named, you'll want to change to match here uh, to that directory we created above. Third command is going to be push D C colon Windows temp. And what that does is that actually adds that directory to memory so it can be returned at any time. And that is something the program is going to need to use. Uh, the fourth line of code here is going to be the actual registry import command where we're going to tell it to import that wintrust.reg or whatever yours is named. And this is really critical if you are using 64-bit operating systems. If you do not do this, this will this whole this whole video will not work. So you need to make sure you have this exact line in here. Last, well, second to last thing here, we're actually just going to echo. This is uh, a way to create a, um, a text file, if you will. I, I guess that's exactly what it's going to be. It's going to be a text file that we will use later to verify if our, um, if our, if our um, script ran. So it's going to create that there, and then Intune's going to reference it and say, does that exist? And if it doesn't exist, it's going to throw back an error and say, nope, it failed, and it's going to show you your um, app failed to run correctly. Last thing it's going to do is just some cleanup work. Uh, these two are optional, uh, but I would suggest you at least do this one. That way it kind of lets you know, like, if you don't even get to the step where it's verifying that that file's there, obviously it's not going to work. So with that said, you have now, you have the registry key, and you have the batch file. So all that is left is to go out and get the utility. That's going to allow us to combine them into an installer that we can upload into Intune. And that installer can be found right here. I will throw this um, into the description of the video. So all we need to do is download it, which we'll do right here. And we'll go ahead and show in folder. Okay, now that we've shown in folder, we're going to copy this. We're going to go to the C drive. And you can name these folders whatever you want. I'm going to just name them in tune. And then inside it, you're going to need two other folders. Again, anything you want to name it. I'm just naming it something that makes sense to me. Um, and in the source, we're going to want to put that guy. Then we're going to need to get these two. We're going to need to go back to source, put those there. And just to review, we have our batch file, we have a registry file, and we have our Intune WinApp utility that's going to combine these all and get us the executable we need for Intune. So how do we do that? And it's actually pretty easy. We're going to go ahead and run this. Move this over here so I can see. And the source is going to be that C um, Intune source 
the, the um, setup file is going to be win trust.bat or whatever yours is called. Output folder, C colon and tune slash output. Do we need a catalog? And we're going to say no. And that should do it. We should now have what we need inside the output folder. And there it is. So now we need to open up Intune or uh, Endpoint Manager as it's called, uh, Microsoft Endpoint Manager. And you're going to want to go to Apps, Apps, All Apps, Add App. We're going to go down here to Win32, Select, Select the Package. Should go right to where I was. So you're going to want to go and click that on, you know, wherever it was in the output folder. Hit OK. Rename it whatever you want to name it. And you could change the description if you wanted to. Publisher, put whatever you want. And then next. And install command. This is important. You need to copy um, the name of the batch file. So I think it was Wintrust dot c or not cmd bat let me verify um, when trust dot bat yep we're cool um, uninstall command we did not set that up um, so I'm just going to use this as a filler if we were going to uninstall it obviously um, we'd have to go in the registry and do that manually just FYI and then operating system, we're going to want to go to 64-bit. Then you can pick what version of Windows. I'm just going to go 1909. And we're going to go ahead and hit Next. Rules format for detection. Now, what this is, this is where we're going to actually go out and look for that text file I mentioned earlier. That's in the temp under our uh, fix folder. So we're going to go ahead and do manual. And we're going to have to add a rule here. And we're going to do rule type. And we're going to go file. And the path is going to be C colon windows tap unless you change this fix and the file or folder I actually do not remember the name of the folder. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back here and we're going to reference our batch file and it is that's the name of the file it's going to look for. So we'll go ahead and put that here. Detection method we're going to say exists and leave this on no, hit OK, hit next. You don't have to do anything here or here. Assignment, this is where you, at this point I would suggest you go ahead and set up a test group. Pilot this out with the test group, make sure it's working. And then when you're um, happy with it, go ahead and push it out to everyone. For this, I'm just going to go ahead and hit create. We'll go back in here and you can see our app. So at this point, you are done. You have completed um, the whole process, and you should be good to get this pushed out to people and start um, you know, tightening up security and lowering those vulnerability counts on your uh, vulnerability scans. So if you enjoyed the video, I would greatly appreciate some love. Some likes would be awesome. If you uh, would like to see future content, some um, feel free to subscribe, hit the bell. Um, and otherwise, just have a great day. Take care.